40 metres out from the fast line. It goes to White who puts it up. No real depth to it, but it's a competition there as Morton gets to it first, knocks on, and Ifax have a chance to break from deep through Jack Smith, and Jack Smith makes a break, looking for support, he sets back inside. A mature player for the 19-year-old, didn't panic, just takes his tackle, and Batley concede the six again. No real difference, because it was the first tackle, and it's a loose pass. And a slight momentum that Halifax had has temporarily lost. As Saltonstall put down, just shy of halfway, Inman finds Connor Davies, Davies. Attracts three battle defenders, makes some good yards after contact. Put down by Moore. As Inman wears the blind side, Jufre. Great dummy ball, lovely shot there from the battle man. Drives him into the turf. I think he was Buchanan on that edge. You put him down, Davies brings on Leroyer. Targets his little ex teammate Brandon Moore there. And wins the rope, quick play of the ball. Here's Davies, throws a dummy. Who was on there, a bit of consternation from his teammates on this left hand side. Inman goes right to Fairbank. Throws a dummy, Jacob Fairbank, lovely little dummy. He goes to Inman, Inman's going to go to the post. What a lovely try for the Halifax Panthers. Who opened the scoring here at the first Bedfred Championship 2024 game at the Shea. Inman. Finds Conor Davies, onto Jufre, finds Winnip, onto Tibbs, steps back inside Ben Tibbs. And further in Ben Tibbs, looking for any gaps in this battle of defence. Oh, Eyes will burn all, will burn all, it's a three on two, five, that's one it, but Jack Smith comes back inside. And the referee is going to give a penalty to the Panthers for the late shot on Ben Tibbs by Lucas Walshaw. As Jufre, a bit more difficult kick attempt here but it's near enough in the middle of the field and the crowd will tell you as well as the flags that uh, Jufre has made it two from two White takes it to the line throws a dummy but great tackle again there by Connor Davies and Kavanagh leak goes blind to Brown Brown throws a dummy gets it off load again to Mitzias on to Moore and Moore comes back on the inside and Ifast managed to hold him up brilliant play from the Fax defence. Burton finds White, brings on Walshaw, runs between Lannan and Inman, but will burn all else out. Last tackle here for Batley. Burton finds White, who goes into, into the half, bounces off the post. I think Batley have scored. They have. Inman finds Widdop and Widdop spice some space. In backfield, trying to get Halifax out of danger, it bounces forward. Lovely kick there from Gareth Widder, but what about that chase? Brilliant chase there from the Panthers. As they push Butterworth back, brilliant defence. Completely turned the momentum over there. Gareth Widder using all his experience for that. There's no penalties there, and Morton's dropped the ball. And it's play on, and Tibbs knocks on, so he'll go back for the first knock on. And Ifax have the chance. But the Shilmore is given a penalty, I think. The Batley man spoke out of turn to the referee, Cameron Worsley. And the signal's gone on pretty quickly that Halifax are going to go for two. Ten metres to the side of this near side pose. Shoe Frey comes up straight through the middle. 100% with the boot this week, Louis Shoe Frey. And after seven minutes, this second half, he nudges Halifax Panthers. Slightly further in front, 10 points to six. Slow play of the ball, Inman shakes right and goes left as Kavanagh tries to make yards towards halfway, which he does. Quick play of the ball too. Woodburn all picks up from dummy half, looking for a gap in centre field. Trying to fend off Flynn. Makes brought down, last tackle here for the Panthers. He goes back to Widdop. And Widdop with a huge bomb there. No one wants it, the ball bounces. But was going to claim it as Jufre is there to trap him in goal. That's brilliant there. And two Gareth Widdop kicks have changed this game for Halifax. Good play of the ball. Here's Lannan and Lannan. 
looking to get over that line, but it's just stopped just short. Still tackles here for Fax. Inman finds Widdop. Out of the back to Woodburn Hall. Woodburn Hall throw the dummy. Woodburn Hall's going to go over for the try. He is. And how important could that try be for James Woodburn Hall? First try this second half. Goes to the Panthers. Inman shakes left and goes right. Jufre takes to the line. On to GG. On to Saltonstall. Saltonstall will come back inside. Trying to stay in this field of play. As Batley desperately trying to push him out. But there's going to be another penalty here for Halifax for a late shot. As the penalties are mounting up for Halifax. Now will they go for another two or will they keep going with this ball? Eight points difference. Will Dufre play the percentages again? Or will Halifax just stick down here? As you can see by his off his scrum cap, he's going to have a shot at goal. And that is the sensible option in these conditions. The Dufre from 25 metres out. It looks good, it is. The flags are up and Dufre is four from four. Quick play the ball, Leak goes towards the centre of the field, onto Gledil, Gledil. Great tackle down low by Inman. Slow play the ball, it's another six again for Batley as White. Stepping, still going, Ben White. Going towards that line, but James Woodburn all did brilliantly well. The six again to Mountain for Batley here. Leak brings on Gledil round the back. And again, Ifax will hold him up. They'll drag him over the line. And Batley have a play of the ball, 10 metres back. Leak finds Ben White out of the back to Kia. Brilliant defence there from Louis Jufre. Brilliant read in defence. And Batley will go blind. White, short ball to Manning. Well met there by G and Davies. They'll put him down, five metres shy of the line, still tackles here for Batley. Leak finds Brown, short ball to Cooper, great shot down low, I think that was from Inman and Fairbank. Last tackle, Leak, Chris, hit for to Gledil, and Gledil still trying to get over the line. But brilliant last ditch defence from the Panthers, and look what it means. Kevin Leroy celebrating like he's scored a try and turns round to that south stand. Tells them, raw as home, lads. Brilliant defensive effort there. Here's White. Short ball to Gledil, and Gledil well put down there. Down low by Jufre. Another great tackle there by the Frenchman. Last tackle here for Batley. They go blind. Here's Kia. Dribbles the ball through. Is he going to go out into touch? They won't. As James Saltonstall has to bat the ball dead. Halifax working over time in defence here. Kavanagh and Davies this time. Leak from dummy half, he fancies it. But again, desperation from Halifax side. Has he got over the line? He has, but he's held up. Fantastic effort in defence. From this Panther side. At the death. White from dummy half, finds Brown. Short ball to Gledil and Gledil. Stopped in his tracks by Davies, Inman and Leroy. Leak, buys it to Kia. Kia, short ball to Butterworth, but G and Dufre read it well. Still tackles here for Batley, Leak. Flat ball to Brown, tries to step out of chance to Leroy, he does, another offload. Kia, long ball out to Burton, and Burton's in. And Lightning striking twice here as Batley Score a late try in Halifax left corner. But I've said it before, a bit of a commentator's curse. Batley just do not go away from games. As Widdop drills the ball low. Collected on the bounce by Morton. Hands it on to Cooper. And Cooper from the back fence drops the ball. And there's the game for Halifax. As Leroy collects the ball. And wins the penalty for his side as well. And there is the game. And no doubt you frail signal for the two. And wrap this game up. As the Hooter goes, confirming the end of the game.
But can Jou Frey keep up his 100% effort with the boots? He can't, he's 100%, sorry, my mistake, he missed the conversion, but he's kicked five from six. The most important stat of all is IFAX won their second game this Bedford Championship season, a two from three, and start the home season off with a win.